Neil McAvoy, Assembly Member, South Hill Central. I'm in Pentrobain today with Rebecca. Um, Beck's, Beck's son is Diego. Diego is nine years of age with severe autism and severe learning difficulties. And the reason I'm here today is that this, this young lad had all his toys stolen at the end of April. Bex, do you want to tell us what happened? Yeah, um, we went on a family break. Um, we went on the Wednesday and then returned on the um, Thursday night. Um, we come back about well, between half past eight, quarter to nine, round about that time. Um, I come out of the car because Diego was a bit tired, so Chris said that he was going to carry him in. So yeah. I brought all the stuff in. It was just yeah. a case to bring. Um, so. I let open the door and he stopped himself obviously by the chain because that had been put on. Um, I presume that would have been put on um, because if I'd have come home or yeah. some, one of the family had come in because my mum has a key, had come in, um, then they would have been able to get out, you know, without yeah. sort of being caught. So I presume that's why they did that. Um, it, it took a few moments to sort of realise what had happened. Because I kept questioning, did, did I do this? And I thought, no, yeah. how could I have done that? When I, so I uh, instantly um, went round the back yeah. and I could see that my kitchen window was ajar um, and that I knew then, yeah. you know, everything was sort of saying. So I, I took my neighbour who took, went out to tell Chris what had happened. So he mm. obviously brought Diego in and um, we went outside. We managed to get um, a screwed up to open the kitchen window by pressing the buttons, you yeah. know, on the latches. Um, of PVC window, um, we managed. Chris managed to get in. He opened the door, and then we discovered that everything had been taken. Right. Okay. So how how did how did you feel? How did the how did Diego react knowing that somebody broke in and take it all? I think a, a f toys. I mean, obviously we were you know upset and shocked um, because it's not something you you know you were sort of expect to return to, but. Um, Diego was shocked at the night. He was upset. He was crying. Yeah. Um, my neighbour did um, take him in hers at one point. So obviously the police were here and things. Mm -hmm. And he came in. He was too upset. Um, I think the next day then, obviously, because we'd managed to settle him down and get him to yeah. bed, um, which was hard that night, um, yeah. where we'd normally have Yankee candles because he liked to, the flame what's the flame burning yeah. um, they were also taken um, so yeah, I just want to stop you there because yeah. the, the, these are the kind of candles that, that were stolen these they settled Diego down at night um, so these candles anybody's offered you these candles I want to know about it okay yeah and um, so we got him to sleep and the next day um, of course he started to realise then that those things were um, mm. gone um, He'd slowly started to sink in then as yeah. the day progressed, obviously, because he was yeah. looking for his things. You, you said that he's barricading the door now? Yeah, he put um, that's, that, oh, he put um, a clothes horse. We probably might have seen the... Um, I did take a picture of it. Um, he put the clothes horse, some shoes and a chair yeah. against the door, as if he was barricading, he put the chain on. Yeah. Um, you know, to, to stop, sort of, obviously, into it again, and when he can't physically tell me yeah. He'll demonstrate it by actions. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, it's been really hard because I mean, he's in a routine where he'll yeah. come home from school, he'll put his pad away, and then he'll, you know, go on now, um, he'll pick his game, like he might do yeah. the switch, so, like, and then he'll play that, and then he'll do the Xbox, and then he'll do his PlayStation yeah. just before the okay. kids. Yeah, he was yeah. in that routine, you yeah. know, yeah. and now suddenly that's just been blown apart. Yeah. And of course, he well, doesn't we, know, you know. Yeah, we've had a generous donation today from uh, a local resident. There's an Xbox there, and there's the, a whole load of games. So um, I won't embarrass the person, but thank you, thank you so much. But but the issue is though that it's not quite as simple as just replacing no. things, is it? No, not with Diego because mm. it's, he knows they're not his. Yeah. You know, I mean, with, with anyone with autism, that they um, have sensory um, issues as well. Yeah. So I mean, if Diego is such a thing as like a blanket or a pillow, yeah. you, you know, you, you could take that away and give him a new one, yeah. but it doesn't feel or smell the same. Yeah. So it's not. It's the yeah. same with any object or any yeah. games or any possession that he got. It's not the same, even though to us that's just yeah. a game or yeah. you know, to, to Diego is not. You know. It's obviously something yeah. about that game or feel or look of yeah, it that yeah, he, yeah. you know, he, he only yeah. just the fact that he knows it is. Yeah. Well, you know, I really hope that maybe 
Diego, Diego could you know, get, get used to this and hopefully yeah. we can try and replace the other stuff. But, but, and this is what we really want, we want Diego's belongings returned. Okay? There are people out there who, let's be honest, I, I guarantee there are people who've been offered, is it a PlayStation? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to list what it is? Those candles, um, PlayStation. It was. Um, they took a number of things out my Pandora bracelet, but again, Pandora I'm bracelet, not yeah. worried about them. Yeah. It's just Diego stuff. They took his Xbox One, all his games, his Switch, and all his games. Um, his PlayStation uh, Four and all the games they took. Um, they took the Yankee candles. Um, uh, they took my perfumes. It, it was all sort of tipped up, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, the long, the, the more I sort of go on, I'll be looking for something, and yeah, I'll realise all yeah. oh, that's gone. Yeah. That you know? So yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it's at the, the minute, um, you know, I haven't noticed anything that you know got because yeah. obviously, I'm just too busy in the process of trying to put it all back together now. Yeah. And trying to sort of, um, you know, get the ego over it because yeah. he's taking this the hardest because it's obviously yeah. his things and his routine. His, all gone now. So, so here you've, you've got a, a devastated, a devastated young lad, and there are people out there who know who did this. Okay, it's a very simple solution. Get the toys back. Okay, I don't care how it's done. Get in touch, and I want those toys back to Diego. Failing that, get in touch if you know who it is. We can contact the police. We did a video about this before, Bex, and we, the cu culprit was actually apprehended after 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 a short while. Um, I, I hope we we can do the same with this one. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do our best for for the family. We'll do our best for Diego. Let's get the toys back. Okay. If not, get in touch. And